Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about um, something really basic with the grease pencil that I don't think there's a lot of information about, not unless you've kind of played around with the, um, the software a bit. And so I'm going to show you how to kind of adjust the grease pencil's taper. Because um, when you use grease pencil out of the box, it gives you a bunch of brushes, but the default brushes, I feel like they feel too round for me and they taper off too round. So I'm going to show you how to kind of adjust that so you can adjust the taper to be more thinner. Um, as this brush I made called the Ink Pen Better Taper, I kind of adjust like the brush settings here on the right. And if you look down, you can see the tab for brush settings. And what you can do is you can kind of adjust the curve based on how your pressure sensitivity for your pen is. And then if I drop this curve down, you can kind of see how it adjusts the the width of that of that um, stroke, but then I still kind of have that issue where it kind of rounds off at the at the front and the end of the stroke. So what I'm gonna try and do is show you how to adjust that so that it tapers more thin, more like a real pen. Um, because to me this feels too like artificial, this big chunky round. It doesn't taper like how I'm used to seeing. Um, ink lay on paper so I'll show you some ways to adjust for that one of the ways is yeah dropping down the curve to kind of shorten the, sh the width of the stroke and then you can kind of adjust the ends here just by clicking here and dragging up and see what that does see it, it still kind of keeps it more round so what you can do is like drop that even further let's see what this does it's a little better. Yeah, see how it's it's a little bit more thin towards the end? And it's also just like um, how you move your hand with the stroke. So it's like if I'm trying to ta taper like a regular pen on a pencil, okay, I kind of want to move fast. And so I'm kind of trying to mimicking that feel onto this digital screen which I'm using. And then you can see here it kind of tapered better just by lowering that. And then I'm going to lower this here too for the front end of the stroke um, right now. And yep, see how that kind of tapers better. Just gonna show you some S curves here just to show how that stroke lays out. Add a little pressure in the middle. See, that's how I like it. Let's see. Just, just simple. Uh, so there you go. It's a lot better. I'm just going to show you how that looks compared to the default. So I'm just going to go here and show you that you click this. You can always exit your changes to go back to the default. See how chunky that is? That does not feel like how a normal pen would kind of lay down the ink. So I go back in, adjust the brush settings, just lower it down. Decrease that width. Same for the ends, just to decrease the, the tapering. And it, yeah, look at that taper. A lot better. Um, what else is there? If you feel like your stroke is too like laggy or slow, you can turn off the post processing, which I do because I don't like I don't like this feature sometimes because it's it feels like the ends of your lines lag when you press down a bit, like it'll give you a smoother, you can play around with it to get a smoother curve, but I'd rather be, just have a better hand um, and just turn this off and then just have the the stroke match the speed of my hand. That way if I, if I you know, let's say I'm doing like the contour of face, I can just focus on the inking of it, you know? This face is gonna be ugly, but let's say I'm just doing like the eyes here. See how I can kind of to control the taper better because I don't like sometimes when grease pencil I think this is something that you know maybe in future patches they'll update but it feels like too digital like these strokes sometimes I don't know what I'm doing just like the random face but then yes it's just like weird sometimes how the the tapering is it feels too like artificial 
Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to play around and try and adjust it so that um, it's more, it feels more natural for an artist. Because this is a 2D tool in a 3D software space. So, you know, it's not going to, Blender isn't really fine tuned for 2D stuff quite yet, I think, in my opinion. In comparison to like what I've used before, which is like Photoshop, Clip Studio, the brushes there are much more better. So I'm trying to adjust and show how you can do it on your own. I know my the brush that I put on Gumroad, um, which is called the Ink Better Pen. Better Taper is basically me fudging around with the brush settings. So it works for me on my end, but I, uh, this is kind of just a tutorial to show you how you can adjust it on your end because I don't think there's any resources out there right now for it in terms of adjusting brush settings. So hope this helps. Um, yeah, make sure to follow and subscribe for more Splendor Grease Pencil Tips because I'm going to be messing around with it.